Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle, and today is report card day for the automotive industry because Consumer Reports is putting out their top picks of 2012. And they have the best of 2012 when it comes to cars, and their worst of 2012. So we've got our good friends Dave Champion and Rick Paul. They're going to talk about the cars that you should get and the cars you should avoid. Hello, I'm Rick Paul with Consumer Reports, and today we released our top picks for 2012. And the news there is we, there's four new models in our top picks, but also there's five Toyota models. So Toyota is dominating this year, and it's the first time that's happened since 2003 when Honda did it. And some of the picks are the Toyota Camry Hybrid for our best family sedan, which gets 38 MPG overall, which is excellent fuel economy for a family sedan. For a small car, we got the Subaru Impreza, which is uh, a small car that doesn't feel like a small car. It gets, has a comfortable ride that feels like some luxury sedans. In a category we call affordable family sedan, we picked the Hyundai Sonata. For $22,000, you get a lot of car, a lot of features for your money, and it gets a pretty good 27 MPG itself. Uh, also, the Toyota Highlander and Toyota RAV4 are two SUVs in our top picks. Uh, and they are both very, very refined, comfortable. The RAV4 in particular gets good fuel economy for its class. What's fun to drive? The, our sporty car is the Ford Mustang, and that's a sports car that provides great acceleration, good performance, but is also a good car that you can drive on an everyday basis. Our green car, uh, once again, is the Toyota Prius, which provides the best uh, combination of efficiency and economy and practicality. So, that's uh, some of our top picks for 2012. Looking at the, at the top manufacturers, Subaru is the best manufacturer out there. They have a relatively small product line, but all their cars are extremely good. The reliability is good, and that puts them out on top. Second place is Mazda. They've come up a long way from last year. Their new Mazda 3 has got really good fuel economy. It's a really nice car to drive. And their other vehicles are very good. The Mazda 6, the CX-9, CX-7 not quite so much. Uh, in third place, we have Honda, who's dropped. Um, Honda's been going through a transition where the cars that they've been designing are not as good as their predecessor. The Honda Civic that we tested this year is not quite as good as last time. And some of their other vehicles, like the Pilot and the Odyssey, their reliability in general, though, is very good. Uh, when we look at the uh, domestic manufacturers, Ford has dropped considerably. They introduced a few, mu uh, few more um, innovative systems this year that seems to have been problematic. The My Ford Touch, My Lincoln Touch, which is in the Edge and the MKX, and the new Explorer, uh, had a lot of problems with the touch screen freezing up and the slowness of the um, acceptance when you turn the switch on and off, and also the power shift transmission that's in the Focus and uh, Fiesta also caused a lot of problems, so Ford dropped uh, quite a long way, mainly due to their reliability. Chrysler, on the other hand, they've come up, they're still at the bottom of the charts, but they've come up a long way from where they were. Their new products, such as the Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee, the Durango, the Chrysler 300, and the Dodge Charger, all have done really well in our testing. The problem is, though, they're still held back by a number of fairly poor models from uh, Chrysler of old. The Grand Caravan is not a particularly good minivan, its reliability is very poor, as is things like the uh, Caliber, the 200, the Avenger, um, the Patriot and the Compass, all don't really hit the marketplace and have uh, mixed reliability. So that's where the, the manufacturers are today. But when you're going out to look for a car, do your homework, really look at which car you want, where it is in the rating scheme, and make sure you get a good car that's reliable, fuel efficient and is going to serve you for the period of time that you're going to own that car. Thank you very much. So there you have it, the best and worst of the automotive industry according to Consumer Reports. For more information you can go to consumerreports.org. For Planet Vehicle, I'm Alvin Jones.